Have you ever started your day by checking out your emails and what did you see? A resignation email from your best employee. But wait, there's still a hope because this video can be a lifesaver for you as an HR professional. So hello everyone, my name is Swati and on behalf of HR Administ, I am here to show you how you can handle resignations like a pro. So in this video, we'll cover everything like calming down the panic, extracting hidden gems of exit interviews and even turning out those departures into opportunities to grow your team. And do you want to know the secret that can turn these resignations into referrals? So stay tuned till the end of this video to know that secret. Now quickly hit that subscribe button and grab your popcorn and join me in this journey to extract all about the resignation process. Let us first understand what is an employee resignation. An employee resignation is when the employee resigns the organization voluntarily. Typically, an employee gives the defined notice when they decide to leave the organization. And this can happen for many reasons. It can be a good thing also or a bad thing also. It just depends on what has taken place. It can be a good thing because that employee's resignation allows the opportunity to bring in people with new ideas and approaches to the company. And on the other side, it can be costly when people leave. So no company wants too much turnover to take place because it costs money and time to replace the employees. Employee resignations are a natural part of any workplace, but they can still be disruptive and challenging to handle. So by having a well-defined process and remaining professional throughout the process, you can handle this transition process very smoothly for everyone involved in this process. Now let's see what are the reasons an employee would resign. The first and the foremost reason of employees resigning from an organization is that employees may feel that there are no opportunities ahead of them to get promoted or they have been told that they will not be promoted for any time soon. An employer may view a job change as an opportunity to start over and look for a better growth opportunities. Secondly, employees want a manager who provides training on the interpersonal and technical skills needed in a job. So it is the responsibility of the company to put in place effective managers to handle this issue. Employees will leave if they do not feel like they have a manager who knows how to do their job. Next, employees want to feel like they are a part of a company who does what they say. So employees don't want the company to allow bad players to stay just because the company is heavily reliant on them and this does not help your employees to stick around your organization. As we all know that market rates in society are changing and compensation for employees need to change with the time. So if you haven't visited compensation in a while, then it's time to put a compensation structure and plan in place because every employee want feedback and they want to know how they are doing. The employees may feel like they were not too properly oriented and trained to do their job. If you discover this as a reason for an employee resignation, take it as an opportunity to build a formal training program, train your supervisors on how to be better trainers and coaches for your employees. Keeping an employee in one position without the opportunity of rotating jobs can cause that employee to resign. Think about whether or not you are paying enough for such a position. The job may not have enough enriched content to help the employee feel like they are progressing. The problem may even go as far back as not having a realistic job preview. Issues arising in personal lives all the time. So if an employee resigns due to any personal issue, think about whether or not the company could have assisted them with the situation with that employee or not. Training managers on being a good listener and watching for the warning signs of burnout can go a long way in assisting employees with personal issues. Educate your employees on what mental health benefits are available to them within the organization. Last and the most important reason can be that sometimes an employee resigns in the heat of moment following an argument in the workplace or a significant event. However, it is established practice that an employee should be given the opportunity to withdraw the resignation words if they are spoken in the heat of the moment once they have calmed down, providing the employee acts promptly towards that situation. So if you are dealing with a difficult employee and a decision that appears to be taken in the heat of the moment, it may not be safe to rely on the resignation without further communication with the employee to confirm their position. 
in the absence of this confirmation you may be effectively dismissing the employee which brings with it many legal risk associated with the dismissal moving on to understand how the hr should handle an employee resignation first and the foremost step is that even if it is a key employee in your organization stay calm and professional and you need to ensure that they have made up their mind and understand the implications of this decision request a formal resignation letter to document the date and terms and figure out the last date of employment for that employee it is good to know when an employee leaves because then you know what your time frame is to get everything done before an employee leaves step number 2 find a time to meet with the employee to understand why they are leaving the company and what the company can do better going forward understand their perspective and concerns and avoid counter offers or making them feel bad about their decision learn about the reasons for leaving and areas of improvement for your organization you also supposed to thank the employee for their contributions and wish them success in their future endeavors and respect the employee's privacy and avoid discussing the interview with others step number 3 you need to communicate with the it department so that they can plan for appropriate time to disable passwords and remove accounts and collect the company assets from that resigning employee you also need to explain the last day for benefits coverage and final pay calculation handle the resignation forms non compete agreements and tax paperwork whatever is applicable and assign someone to learn the departing employee's responsibilities also document processes passwords and other essential information now the most important step is to communicate the resignation to the management and the affected teams also you need to share the news with the broader team in a respectful manner and you should be prepared to answer any queries from the employees Now here are some steps to follow as an HR after the employee resignation is confirmed. The first important step after receiving the confirmation is to collect all the signed documents applicable as per your company norms and industry norms and disable the company accounts and access to sensitive information. You need to provide necessary tax documents to the employees and explain about the continuation of benefits and eligibility if applicable. Gather all the documents regarding the employee into their file. and file the resignation letter from the employee move this file into inactive employees section and another thing to keep in mind is the retention of records begin to create a system that will help you to know how long you have to hold on to documentation second important step is to start with the recruitment process for a replacement of that resigned employee talk with the manager to find out whether or not the position needs to be backfilled if it does work with the hiring manager on getting the position ready to be recruited for review the job description to get it posted and start recruiting process again consider internal candidates who might be interested in that position and review your hiring strategy based on the feedback received during the exit interview now the most important step is to connect with the former employee on the professional platforms and consider future opportunities for collaboration or partnership remember that a positive exit experience can benefit your company's reputation and network now let us also understand that what will happen if an employee walks out without resigning So if it didn't happen in writing it didn't happen at all meaning follow up in writing via their personal email address to confirm that they are quitting their role at the organization due to walking out of work if they do not respond within 24 hours to your email then you will take that as a confirmation of separation due to resignation similar to job abandonment or absconding case and after that you need to process their separation as a voluntary separation and follow the standard steps you have internally it is better advised to include a separation notice with your email when confirming their separation the separation notice is a pdf with the company letter head confirming their last day worked what they can expect from their final paycheck and their date and then mentioning that they will get the information following up regarding benefits eligible if any start by confirming what your company policy is in such a, a separation cases commonly it is viewed as a job absconding however i strongly recommend try to find out why the employee left because i have had situations where it was discovered that they have been subjected to a hostile work environment or were being harassed and they hadn't brought it to anyone's attention due to either not trusting the hr department from having a prior bad experience or the fear of retaliation from the employee they were having issues with they didn't want to appear like a snitch 
they walked off the job because they couldn't take it anymore if you are able to save the employee in those situations it's very awesome but if it not it gives you an opportunity to talk with them confirm what the intention is possibly do an exit interview and hopefully get some feedback for the benefit of your organization there you have the comprehensive guide on how the hr members should react or behave on receiving the employee resignation if you like this video then i request you to please like and share it ahead and also to share your feedback in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't till now